solve by factoring okay we have right hand side zero that's good if not we have to bring the term to the left side next we want to check if there are any common factors 2x squared 9x 9 2 does not divide 9 so there are none so we factor this tri trinomial as a product of two binomials so we'll get a product of two binomials 2x squared the only way 2x squared factors is 2x times x and 9 plus 9 uh, 3 times 3 9 let's try 3 times 3 and to get uh, to get plus 9 and ni negative so negative 3 negative 3 let's foil let's multiply and check if we get this back okay so when we multiply how we multiply is uh, we don't have to worry about first and last terms because 2x x 2x squared negative 3 times negative 3 uh, positive 9 so let's multiply 2x times negative 3 that's negative 6x negative 3 times x negative 3x and they make negative 9x which is in the middle so we are good so this factoring is good okay now we have 2x minus 3 times quantity x minus 3 equals 0 so we got a product of two things equals 0 that means either this factor is 0 or this factor is 0 okay, that implies 2x minus 3 equals 0 or x minus 3 equals 0 and solve for x add 1 sorry add 3 both sides and divide by 2 so x equals 3 halves move 3 to the other side 3 and divide by 2 uh, th move 3 other side so plus 3 both sides x equals 3 and if we check both of them work so x equals 3 halves and 3 are answers uh, there is an there is an alternative way to do it uh, to make factoring little little bit easier okay that is 2x square minus 9x plus 9 equals 0 okay so this 2 we want to move to the last okay get rid of 2 multiply with 9 2 9 18 and rewrite x square minus 9x plus 18 2 times 9 18 now factor this x square x x 18 and we have to get 9 6 times 3 6 times 3 18 6 and 3 make 9 negative 6 negative 3 since we multiply by 2 now we divide by 2 okay divide by 2 here we get x minus 6 over 2 is 3 x minus 3 halves equals 0 so we have a product of two things equals 0 so from first factor this gives x equals 3 and this gives x equals 3 halves that's what we have here okay uh, let's move to the next question solve by the square root method so we have to take a square root for that we leave x in the left side number in the right side negative 1 move that so add 1 to the both sides we get 2x square equals 18 now divide by 2 we get x square equals 9 now take a square root both sides okay then we get x equals 3 and we have to put plus minus that's the square root method so plus 3 and minus 3 are the answers Okay, next move to the 21 it asks okay determine this is coming here okay determine the constant that should be added to the following to make a perfect square trinomial and we know whenever we have x is square plus or minus bx okay plus x or plus bx or minus bx all we have to do is find the half of b okay half of b half of b and quantity square we need to add half of b quantity square so that this becomes a perfect uh, square trinomial so in this case x square minus bx so b is b is 3 over 4 okay then what is half of b 
half of b means divide by 2 or multiply by 1 half so 1 half of 3 fourths that is 3 eighths now we want a square okay so 3 eighth is square which is 3 square on the top 9 80 square 64 on the bottom so we have to add 9 over 64 to this uh, to this <coughs> expression and we get a perfect square trinomial b is 3 fourths half of b is just multiply by one half 3 eighths and you square it number 22 solve by completing the square okay completing the square in this method uh, we want to leave x square minus bx or x square plus bx in the left side so move 5 to the other side add 5 we get x is square minus 8x equals 5 so b is 8 now we need to add half of b quantity square so half of 8 is 4 is square so 4 is square is 16 so we want to add 16 both sides 16 to the both sides now right hand side 5 plus 16 that's 21 left hand side becomes a perfect square trinomial it will be a quantity square and x squared just x minus this comes minus and 16 is 4 square okay if we factor x square minus 8x plus 16 we are gonna get x minus 4 square you can check over here if you like x square minus 8x plus 16 if you factor x square x x 16 4 times 4 to get negative 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 4 so x minus 4 square now we want to use a square root method take a square root both sides we get x minus 4 equals so when we take a square root plus minus it's coming from the left side but we write on the right hand side equals 21 and finally we isolate x by adding 4 add 4 to the both sides to move 4 to the other side add 4 so x equals uh, is the plus 4 plus minus plus 4 just 4 plus minus root 21 okay 21 is 7 times 3 no perfect square factors so 4 plus square root of 21 4 minus a square root of 21 there are two answers now 23 solve by using the quadratic formula okay we know the quadratic formula when we have ax square plus bx plus c equals 0 x is given by negative b plus minus square root of quantity b square minus 4ac all over 2a so right hand side is 0 that's good uh, if there are any common factors all, we can always factor out and divide by that so that's not the case so in this question a is 3 b is negative 8 so we need to take care of negative and c equals 10 now using that formula x equals negative b negative b b is negative 8 negative of negative 8 in fact this is positive 8 plus minus square root of b square b square means negative 8 quantity square minus 4 a c c is 10 okay b square means in fact b quantity square so b is negative 8 so negative 8 quantity square all over 2 a a is 3 okay let's simplify using calculator negative negative just positive 8 plus minus okay you can use your calculator negative 8 quantity square so you need to put parentheses around in your calculator 64 this will be 64 uh, minus uh, 30 times 4 120 64 minus 120 that means 120 minus 6 uh, we subtract we get negative okay it will be 56 okay negative 56 okay 56 and 64 yeah 56 over 2 times 3 6 now we need to simplify this further that 8 plus minus uh, square root of negative number will be always square root of number i 56 i 
over 6 okay let me erase this over here now that is we can uh, let's try to f simplify square root of 56 does 56 have a perfect square factor 56 okay square means 1 9 6 1 4 9 9 does not divide 16 no 4 4 divides 4 divides how many times 4 14 okay so 56 is 4 times 14 so 8 plus minus 4 times 14 and 4 is a perfect square so when we take a square root that's 2 a square root of 14 i all over 6 okay separate into 2 so 8 over 6 plus minus 2 root 14 i over 6 okay and let's simplify this that's the answer so the answer will be then 8 over 6 that's 4 thirds plus or minus 2 goes 6 3 times so root 14 over 3 i okay so there are two answers take positive ones and negative on the time